Hi friends, good morning, happy Friday. TGIF guys, welcome to my page, DIY Crafts with Dar. Um, we are gonna do Easter today, yeah. <laughs> Someone talked me into it. So um, I have the cutest, cutest Easter project. I'm so excited to make it. Um, uh, I haven't I haven't made a sample yet, so we'll see. We're gonna work through it because it's something that I just kind of created. I haven't seen um, a finished sample because I um, created this little cutie pie. So <laughs> anyways, we're gonna make a bunny bait jar and a bunny. So we have a, a cute little mason jar and I have a bunch of these. Um, the mason jar will come with the with the kit. So bas basically um, you're gonna get that mason jar um, from me. I'm gonna I'm gonna give that to you but you're gonna be paying for the the other for the wood part. So I'm gonna give you the mason jar. So anyways guys it's it's gonna be so much fun. It's this bunny bait on the cute little tag. Can you see that? <laughs> How is everybody? Happy Friday. We made it. Um, yesterday was kind of debatable. <laughs> it was a long day. I had my hair appointment. It's always, I'm always like, oh gosh, you know, I just don't, I don't have time to go do all this stuff for me, but you need to. You need to take time for yourself. And it actually went by really quickly for me. And then I got a lot of stuff done last night. I kept thinking, gosh, I just want to go take a short nap. And I'm thinking, Darlene, it won't turn into a short nap. It'll be hours. So just keep going. So I did. Anyways, um, how is everybody? Happy Friday. Who has some plans this weekend? What are you guys doing? Um, I am just going to be getting all my stuff ready for leadership. I am hopeful that I will actually get my suitcase packed. Um, I'm always like last minute packing the night before. I don't want to do that. I want to get all my stuff washed and get my suitcase packed so I'm not in a hurry the day before. Um, and I have a lot of new stuff. I have long sleeve shirts and and warm, um, well, my jacket's supposed to come today, the one from Amazon, so we'll see if that fits it better. <laughs> you never know when you order um, whether it's gonna be a true size or it's gonna be smaller or bigger, so we'll see. Anyways, let me see who's here. Isn't this cute? Let me let me go in a little bit closer for you. So we're doing a bunny bait jar, it has carrots in it. <laughs> <laughs> it has a little mason jar with carrots. And then I have um, cute little Easter fabric that we're going to put on the top of it. I do have pinking shears that I'm going to use. If you don't have pinking shears, don't worry. You can just use regular scissors. In fact, these pinking shears are probably not the best ones that I have. I have some others that open and close easier. I'll probably struggle a little bit with those. <laughs> so we're going to tie um, jute around the top. And then we have a little piece of the smaller jute for, for the tag. Anyways, it's going to be so fun. I'm so excited to be here with you guys. Thanks for joining me. Let me just make sure that I am live. And if you're out there watching, just say hello so I know you're watching. Um, it feels, feels like it's cold outside. Let me see. What is our weather today? Is it even going to tell me? It's not. Oh, there we go. Lakeside today. It is currently... My, my phone's a little slow this morning. Hopefully, hopefully my broadcast is okay. It's 38 degrees. So um, 38 degrees right now. That's pretty cold. <laughs> supposed to get up to 64. So um, around 2 o'clock, it's supposed to be 64 degrees. So I guess it's winter. I guess it's winter. Okay, let me go ahead and share this over to VIP group and then we'll go ahead and get started with this. So does anybody have questions um, about the new um, kit to sign up as a as a chocolate tour designer? So I showed you the kit yesterday for $59. I showed you what you get um, and then they give you $50 in designer dollars back and then I have an additional um, thing that I'm doing for you guys. Um, if anybody has questions, send me a message. I would love to answer any questions that you have. You don't have to ever do Facebook Lives. You can just sign up for that discount or you can sign up if you want to, um, if you want to earn some extra money somehow. Um, if you, if you, I have to be really careful about how I say that. If you want to do it as a business, let me say that. If you want to do it as a business, I can help you do that. 
Um, we have to be so careful about um, any type of money claims. <laughs> but you can do classes. You don't have to do it um, as a business with a team. You don't ever have to do that. So um, some people find out that, hey, their friends want to join just because they want to they get the discount too. And boom, they have a team. <laughs> maybe two or three people. So anyways, guys, if you ever have questions about that, I am here to help you. Um, I will help you all along the way. And it's a lot of fun. It is so much fun. And with the launch coming up, you save so much. This is the perfect opportunity to sign up as a designer, get your 40% off, and then that additional coupon for 15% extra, um, you use that with that 40% to get 55% off your launch order in February. Yeah, for the new stuff that's coming in February. Um, we'll be able to see all the new stuff next week. Next week on Friday, we're going to see all the new stuff. Yes, I'm so excited. And on Saturday, I get to go live and demonstrate one of the new products um, live from corporate office. Yay! <laughs> All right, let me see who's here, guys. Um, hello, guys. Hi, hi. Happy to be here with you guys. So thanks for joining me. Hi, Julie. Good morning, Betty. Hi, Carrie. Um, Carrie, I do have that transfer for you. I was going through transfers last night. I'll send you a picture. Um, hi, Billy. Good morning. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Tony. Hi, Tina. Good morning. Thanks for sprinkling. Hi, April. Hi, Karen Romanco. Hope you're feeling better. Um, oh, thank you, Cheryl. You know, I always feel human again <laughs> when I get my hair done. You know, and it's just magical what they do because I can't do the same thing. I am not good at doing my own hair. <laughs> Long week. Glad it's Friday and a three-day weekend. Yes, a lot of people have Monday off, right? So, um, how, okay, how is your baby girl? Oh, yes, she is doing, she's doing great if you're talking to me. Um, my, my dog, is that what you mean? <laughs> <laughs> you mean um, Miss Marley. Miss Marley's doing great. So, but guys, guys, my granddaughter got in an accident yesterday. Remember when it was raining so hard? And I was thinking, oh gosh, I hope that she's, I hope that she's okay. Because she was heading, heading our way. As soon as I was done with my live, I got a phone call from my granddaughter that she had been in an accident yesterday. So we know that the roads are really slippery right after it's rained. Um, all the oils and it was raining hard. It was raining cats and dogs. I could hear it on the on the patio just coming down. Um, she was just barely getting on the freeway and she slid, her car slid and she rear-ended someone and she ended up having to get a new car because the whole front of her car was messed up. The other lady's vehicle was just barely scratched. Um, but her, her whole hood in the front of her car was all pushed in and um, her her stepdad um, said that um, probably would just be totaled and wasn't worth fixing. So it was time. Her, her car was kind of getting old and she was at the point where she was wanting to get a new car. So she ended up getting, it's not a brand new car, but she ended up having to get a new car. But she's okay. But it was kind of weird because when the rain was coming down, that flashed through my head. Oh, great. Haley's driving here right now. So say a little prayer for her that... It was really hard, you know, she's 22 and she's like, I'm just so sad that this happened. That's her third accident. The other two were not her fault. She had, she had a hit and run um, where the person just took off in a government um, uh, car. And then she also had one where a lady sideswiped her and it, it wiped off. So it wasn't terrible, but that's her third accident in a year. <laughs> so she's kind of like, ah, don't know if I want to drive anymore. Yeah, not not fun. Not a fun thing. So anyways, say a little prayer for Haley. Um, she only works for me Wednesday and Thursday. So I totally missed out on having her here with me yesterday. So um, Cheryl, staying home um, safe and warm. Yay, that's good. I would stay home too. <laughs> Tina's staying home too. Yeah, I, might, I think I'll just stay home all weekend. <laughs> Hi, Carol. Happy Friday. Tony is 29 in Dallas. Ooh, burr. Um, Mary Lee, 27 degrees there. Feels like temperature of 19 um, here in the Tehachapi Mountains. Wow, yes, I bet it is cold. Um, I gotta go up to my cabin soon. <laughs> it's gonna be really cold up there. I'll go like um, probably the middle of 
February before I head to Jamaica. <laughs> I'll go and get cold and then I'll go get warm. Hi, Deb, my sister. How are you? Happy Friday. Hi, Janine. Hi, Doris, my sister. Um, Cheryl, watch. Um, I have to shovel. Oh, gosh. Yeah. I know. You have to shovel. You have to keep up with it because it gets to be so heavy. Hi, Carrie. Hi, April. Yeah, three day weekends are always nice. I, I'm not taking um, the day off, but. Yeah, I'll be working. <laughs> but the post office won't be picking up. So, um, hi, Pam. How are you? Yeah, Tina, I'm glad she's okay, too. Yeah, it was really scary. It was, yeah, definitely the car can be replaced. It's just sad. It's sad when that happens to somebody so young. And she is so responsible with her money. You know, she was saving up for a new car. So, she had the money there. That was good. So, hi, hi Kathy. Storm warning. Wisconsin um, changes to blizzard warning after 3 p.m. Oh, goodness. 13. Just, yeah, you can come to, come on down. <laughs> come on over. But it is cold, so I'll just warn you. Hi, Laura. Good morning. Okay, guys, let's get started. Um, oh, Tina, you need some prayers for your sister-in-law's um, um, brother in the hospital right now. Um, oh, my gosh. I'm so sorry. Uh, that's, that's so sad, Tina. I am so sorry. Yes, we will definitely keep her and him in, in our prayers. Oh, my goodness. That is so hard. Oh, Laura, you're close to Mary Lee. Oh, that's that's awesome. I love that. I love when we get to say, oh, I'm close to you. Um, Sue lives five minutes from me. So it's always nice to have someone next to you. So, okay. So keep, so keep, um, keep Tina's sister-in-law and brother in, in her, in your prayers. Um, that is just the hardest thing to have to go through. I just, yeah, I'm so sorry. Um, Karen says the friend in Saskatchewan minus 50s holy cow that is very very cold okay let, let's get started on this project <laughs> I know sometimes I've had people say um, why don't you just get to it so just talking so much because I love you guys because I like to say good morning <laughs> and if they don't if they don't like that they can um, they can come back and watch the replay and fast forward through that's what I tell them like if you don't like it that's okay because you don't have you have the option to just scroll on by <laughs> okay so this will be on the top of the little jar these are the chocotour jars I'm going to give to you free when you purchase um, when you purchase all of this, I'm going to give you the jar. I have, I probably have 50 of them. After that, then no more jars. So, so after that, I will change, I will change my listing, but I'm going to give you the jar free because I have so many. Okay, let's put some new tape on this. It's been, it's been a while and this tape is wearing out. We just need a small little thing today. I'm going to stand up to do this. So I like to show you guys every now and again how to do this. This is simply a piece of cardboard that came in one of the kits, one of the chalk and torque kits. You can save that. You can use a piece of wood, wood or cardboard. Either one works. I've even used for classes. I've, I've reused my post office um, envelopes. <laughs> so good morning, Vicki. How are you? I know, Jill. I love Easter too. I'm sure definitely love my bunnies and it's never too early I guess <laughs> we may even throw Christmas in now and again because guys as crafters we do holidays outside of the time period because we just enjoy creating and also because we can't always get to everything I have a ton of of Christmas things that I never got to making the kits <laughs> So, and hey, you would, you would just be shocked at my living room. I am like knee deep in transfers in this. I am going through every single size A and size B transfer. And as far as, as far as the A's, I think there was um, almost a hundred of just the size A's, different ones. And size B, I'm already up to 220 different ones. And I still have um, all the Christmas ones to go through. I am going to do Christmas in there. So I'm going to do every single size A and size B transfer that I have that is not the brand new ones. The brand new ones, I can't give you a discount on them. So um, I'm not putting those in the sale. So the brand new, you can't give a discount until it's been 30 days. Okay, let's do our little bunny first. And the inside of the ears will be our cotton candy. Bunny will be white. 
and the nose will be we'll do his nose pink and then here's the carrots there's a whole bunch of carrots so this carrot is his and he's going to be white his hands are going to be white okay and then here's here's all this all right so um we're going to do the tag we will do it with our um Oh, well, let's see. You know what? I'm going to get a different color. Let me get a tan color for that. I want to do the outside of this with my dragon fruit because here's the fabric that goes with it. So I'm going to do that with that. Okay. The inside of the jar, we're going to do it with crystal blue. You can use any blue though. Okay. Here's all our carrots. So our carrots, we're going to do spiced pumpkin. And then the top part, um, what color did I, I got? Light avocado. So isn't this fun? I just love being able to use things that I already have. So I have, I'm trying to thin out some of my um, surfaces. So I'm going to give you, I'm going to give this to you free. <laughs> All right, let me get a tan. Let's get, let's get burlap for that. I know, isn't this fun? I love it. I love being able to create, to just do things. Um, and let me just scooch it up because I know that it is not up far enough. And let me put myself in the corner. <laughs> Happy Friday, Sandy. Hi, Sarah. How are you? Got another eight inches. Oh my gosh. Are you going to be able to get out next week? <laughs> Hi, Christy. How are you? Frigid cold in Iowa. Oh my goodness. Um, oh, let's see. What were we saying? Okay, Mary Lee taught um, in Mojave for five years. Oh yeah, that's awesome. So you are really close to each other. That's so cool. <laughs> I love that. I, I love being able to um, to connect people. <laughs> okay, let's do this part. This is going to be our crystal blue. Okay, so it doesn't have to be a really solid um, background. In fact, let's put a little bit of water in there to just kind of water it down. I just want color on there. I didn't want it to be white because our bunny is going to be white. So I thought, you know what? We're just going to paint the inside of this. So that it's a light blue. You can paint your sides if you want to. Some people love to paint the sides in the back of their <laughs> of their project. We're not going to do it today. Just in the essence of time, we're just going to do the top part, and I'm just going to even this out, just like that. Let me grab a paper towel for all my brushes to put it up there. Okay, now we're just going to move this up. All right, so so there we go. All right, so now we can start painting. And we're going to do the outside This of this is going to be dragon fruit. There goes my phone. Was this the kid? Yes, this was the kid I was talking about yesterday. <laughs> this was it. This is the one that I was like, do I save it? Oh, sorry. My phone's ringing. I had to listen to the area code. <laughs> Make sure it wasn't my up in Idaho or some, you know, sometimes my sister will call if something's happened. Okay. All right. So, sorry. Trying to trying to look and see if there's anything I need to know. Realize how glad you are. Oh yeah, I commuting is never fun. <laughs> never fun having to do. I am so glad I don't have to commute anywhere every day. You know, I just walk into the other room and I am in my office <laughs> at my shop. So my my office, for those who don't know, um, I, I love to do all my crafty stuff, but I also have a full-time job. So I have done bookkeeping for a construction company that is in New Mexico. I've done bookkeeping for them for 20 years in February. It'd be 20 years in February. So um, it's been a long time. How exciting is that? So um, I just walk into the other room and voila, I am in my office and my shop. So my desk is in the corner and then we have the lasers. <laughs> Look at me. I just got, I just got dragon fruit on my arm for you, Miss Karamanko. Let me move this, this over. I'm just going to move this down here. <laughs> Sticking my arm in it already. So, um, I'm using light avocado for the green part on the carrots. These are sprinkling. I, oh yeah, see, dragon fruit is Karen Mamako's favorite color. We always say, this is for you, Karen. <laughs> all right, so we're going to do all of our little carrot tops with avocado. 
I know this. Yeah. So Cheryl, this is the one that I was talking about that I'm so excited that I created this. I'm trying to do things that are different from everybody else because everyone is, <laughs> everyone that has a laser is using all the same files lately, it seems like. And so I'm trying to do my own thing um, to stand out so that you don't scroll through and go, oh, there, she's doing the same one that so-and-so did. She's doing this, you know, at least half of the time I want to do something different that is my own creation or is a or is a combination of files that I've made into something different. Okay, does that make sense? I am trying to not be the same as everybody else. <laughs> Because once upon a time, we designed all of our own files. We didn't buy any files from anyone. We did all our own thing. And then life got a little crazy with COVID. So, okay. So that is a uh, spiced pumpkin. And then we're going to use burlap for this part. Used to live not far from me. Oh, that's awesome. Laura, um, I'm in Lakeside. So the Marine Corps, where was he stationed at? Was he at um, Miramar? A lot of them are up at Miramar or um, or at, let's see, where else? Camp Pendleton. So were, was he at Pendleton? Okay, this is burlap. I'm going to have just a little bit on the bunny bait. Um, I don't, I don't want to fill in my letters. So I'm going to be so careful. And I'm just going to kind of go sideways on this so I don't fill in those letters. Just want to get some color on this. Yeah, military, there's there's a ton of military in this town. That's why I'm here is my my second husband um, brought me here. I'm going to sneeze. Sorry, I can feel it. I feel it. Oh, and it went away. <laughs> and it came back. Sorry, guys. <laughs> that was a big sneeze. Sometimes you just, you shouldn't hold back your sneezes, right? Okay, the nose and the ears are going to be um, cotton candy. Um Hi, Lori. How are you? Yes, we're doing bunnies. Bunny, bunny. Miramar. Okay, perfect. Yeah, that's not far from me. That is very close. I used to work up by Miramar. <laughs> and I hated that drive. Once upon a time, many, many moons ago, before before we moved to New Mexico, I worked, um, well, I worked at a couple different places, but one of the places that I worked at was um, an aerospace type company that did stuff for the space shuttle and the the rover that landed on mars um they were right up off of miramar road <laughs> and that drive every day home to lakeside was a terrible drive i hated that okay we're gonna do all of this white then we'll go back he'll give some cheekies and some eyes so all of all of him is white if you want to do your bunny a different color you can definitely do your bunny a different color so I'm just going to pour the white right on him. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. I I knew I was going to sneeze really hard. I could feel it, you know. It's probably from, um, this is just white. It's probably from everything in the, the vents because I can hear, I can hear the heater on. Okay, I'm going to try not to fill in the, well, you know, it's really not going to really matter. I'm going to go ahead, um, the little whiskers. I'm going to go back with that marker because I'm going to do cheeks on him. And so it's going to go over that. So I'm going to, I'm hoping that I have a little dauber thing in my drawer. Okay, so just white, go ahead and cover it. Sometimes we have to do two coats of white. We'll take a look at it and see if it's okay how we're doing it. Well, let me look for that dauber. There usually is one right on top. <laughs> we'll see, there's a little one, but that is not the one I want. There is a larger one. I might have to run and grab one if I can't find it. Come on. Sorry, that's probably really loud. Um. Hmm. Okay, I really want to do bigger cheeks. These are, that's too small. So let me run and grab a little dauber thing. Um, I thought I had some. Evidently a dauber. Okay, all right, so while that's kind of drying, go ahead and talk amongst yourself. I will go grab a dauber and I'll be right back. So I'm so happy to, um, you went to sleep around two, woke up at nine. Only one trip to the bathroom. That is so nice. 
Um, and no coughing. Yay! Yay! Um, hey, Tony, how are you? Yeah, come back. The replay is always here for you. Um, hi, Carol from Lang Lancaster. Welcome. <laughs> hi, Lori, that is a little bit cold. Minus 25. Okay, let me go grab a dauber for those cheeks. I thought I had it, but evidently I don't. I'll be right back. exactly where it's at so I have I had a bunch of them washed in the back room okay so these are the little daubers that I mean that's exactly what it's called so um this one is Michael's brand and they are by the stencils so it's just round I got a couple extra for next week we'll probably need them all right so let's dry this and then we'll see if we need a second coat on that white we might okay Let's dry it with our heat gun. You're smacking between Carol and Mary. <laughs> That's so funny. A little too early for popcorn. What can we have instead? Oh, hey. Maybe some toast with jam. How's that? <laughs> You're talking about intermission as I go out to grab stuff. It's intermission time. <laughs> That's funny. It is too early for that. It's too early for hot tamales or any of that. The little little goobers. What did you guys like um, when you went to the theater when you were a kid? Man, we used to just take everything from the... There was a 7-Eleven that was close to us. And we would take all the little penny and nickel candy. We would fill, fill, fill our pockets, our jackets. You weren't allowed to take stuff in, but we always smuggled something in. Okay, it's looking like I need a second coat on the jar. Um, maybe. It's a little blotchy. Maybe I leave it. Maybe I leave it like actually it doesn't look bad from your from your view. <laughs> Kids here says you can eat popcorn anytime. A crumpets. Oh, that sounds good. That sounds really good. Um just finished a bowl of cereal now coffee yes definitely definitely time for coffee <laughs> is this my white um the other day oh no this is my white remember i used the wrong one the other day okay i think i'm gonna leave the blue Oop. <coughs> sorry the blue because um there's gonna be all those carrots in there so it's gonna be fine okay i'm just gonna put a second coat of white and then we can do cheekies we can start inking everything i think we probably want to speckle this too i think that speckling it will look cute what do you guys think speckle yes black and white is what i'm thinking speckle it black and white that might look really cute okay so got our second coat of white on there let's get this thing dry the big charms um sweet and sour suckers 25 cents oh yeah for sure um Reese's Pieces <laughs> thank you E.T. that's so funny I love that <laughs> you're still snuggling under your blankets in your bed oh good for you I was all snuggled in my little human dog bed <laughs> with the puppies and then my alarm goes off I'm like do I really have to get up now if it was Saturday I can lay there with them they love me they love when I snuggle with them and earlier this week I actually brought it out early and um and was able and I and okay so I brought it out like eight o'clock at night because I was tired <laughs> and so I laid there I watched I watched tv with my husband I don't watch tv but the but the tv was on I kind of watched it um you know listened to it and fell asleep immediately immediately fell asleep i was so nice and snug and warm 
in my little doggy bed. <laughs> you guys, I know some of you think that's a joke. It's really not a joke. I, I really do have a human dog bed. That's what it's called. And I love, I love to just, it's really comfortable. I just will pull it into the living room and just sleep right there in it. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do cheekies. And then after it's dry, we will, um, we will do the little whiskers. And we're going to do eyeballs. So all I did was I took my paint, I dabbed it onto my paper towel, got off most of the paint, and then I just twisted. I just did like a little circle. So um, you got to do them holidays. With, yes, exactly. You have to work on the holiday stuff way early because otherwise you don't get done. So, and plus ordering and all of that stuff. And um, these, these are already on the website. Let me give you that link. Let me give you that link. Hey, Debbie Anderson, I see you're watching. <laughs> my silent watcher. I can kind of see on my phone, I can see people that, sometimes people just have it on and they're not actually truly watching. Like I'll do that a lot of times. I'll have my friend's stuff on. I'm like, oh, what are they doing today? Um, what are they up to? Okay, let me get, where is it? <laughs> Somewhere here. Um, oh, I thought I added it. Did I? Oh, there it is. Bunny bait mason jar. Okay, so let me just give you the link for that in case, in case you want it. And this is really easy for you. You can just click on this little link right here. I'll also take a picture. I usually take a picture and post it, but there is the link for that. If you want to just grab it, you can. And I'm going to give you that mason jar free. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> I'm probably not even supposed to say that, but I'm going to give you something free. I'm going to give you something free with this, okay? So here's the eyeballs. I'm just using my stylus to, to I'm actually going in a circle because I want it a little bit bigger than what the stylus is. And then we're going to dry that. And um, I like to put like a little white highlight on the cheek, but let's wait till after we have drawn in the whiskers. We're going to use a marker for that. So, hi Bridget, how are you? Oh, you have a toothache. Oh, I'm so sorry. That is the worst. Toothaches are not a good thing. I, oh my goodness. Yeah, that is not, I've had plenty. I've had so many root canals done. My whole mouth pretty much. <laughs> Okay, so I think we got that dry. Let me get my marker. And so I can still see, I can still see where my where my whisker lines are. You probably can't. <laughs> Let me just scooch this up and I'm gonna do my little whisker lines and then I'm gonna do highlights. I like to do like a little white highlight um, on the cheeks. So I'm just gonna go sideways. They kind of are wavy, okay? so. Um, if you want to do them straight, you can, but those lines are still going to be there. So you're going to see, you're going to see the little score lines right there. And then we're going to glue the nose on. I'm like, can I see it? <laughs> it depends on my, my hand was, um, was causing a shadow. I'm like, where'd it go? Okay. All right, so let's assemble our bunny, but we need to we need to do a little white highlight. We'll get a little bit of white here. I'm just gonna put just a little dab of white right there. That that is more than a dab. Well, we're gonna be speckling when we're all done. Okay, I'm gonna use the small end of my stylus and I'm gonna put a little white highlight right at the top of the cheeky, and then let's dry that just really quickly so that we don't stick our fingers in it. Using the dowel for the cheeks. Um, Oh yeah, it's actually not a dowel. Um, it is a, a dauber. So let me show you the end of them again. So it has a sponge thing on the end. A dowel, a dowel might work, but um, but not quite as well. Um, it is, they're called daubers and they have a sponge thing on the end. And this is what they look like. Okay, let me get up really close. See how they have a sponge thing there? So they're called daubers. So they're made for stenciling but they work great for cheekies. So they come in a five pack. Um, I think it has two of the large ones and then three of the small ones. So that's what I used is a little dauber. Okay, so let's get our ink pad. I like to ink everything. We're just gonna leave that up there. <clears throat> we'll just pull pieces off. Gonna grab my ink pad. I like to use this one from Memento Luxe. Um, you have, 
you have a hard time with scroll lines. Um, so use a Dollar Tree speckle and fill them in. Oh, um, huh. Okay. Well, that works. You know what? It, it, that works if you want to do that. Absolutely can do that. If you, if you don't want, um, the score lines that are there, you could absolutely do that. That's a perfect fix. Yep. So, um, yeah, it did look like Adele for sure. I'm glad that I, glad that you said that because Adele, Adele would work. Um, the end of a, the end of a paintbrush would work, but, um, okay. I don't have to do the bottom because it does have little feeties. So I'm just inking the edges. I just take my little ink pad and I just go along the edges and it just gives it more dimension. See how it stands out now. And then I'm gonna do the same with all of these things. I'm just gonna take them off of the, the little, I'm gonna drop them. <laughs> We're gonna drop them too. I'm gonna take them off of the little thing and I will just quickly, oh, did you see that? It went bright all of a sudden. My ring light, I don't know why, but all of a sudden it just went really bright. <laughs> Do we have a ghost in the room? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> on on the nose, I'm just going to ink the top of it. Okay, so I'm going to ink the top of the little nose. That's going to go right there. Let me go in a little bit closer for you guys so you can see a little bit better. And then let me just scooch this up just a little bit more. There we go. I'm gonna go around the the pink part on the ear and I knew that out of the way. Maybe I'm too close now. <laughs> Cheryl, he slept through the night, so it was oh nice, nice. Um I played farm. Oh <laughs> I love that. Isn't that just the greatest? Okay, let me just pull off a bunch of these guys so that we can get all of these inked really easily. I just ink around all of it every bit of this <laughs> if i have teeny tiny words i don't ink the words usually because they're pretty fragile and also i want words to really stand out okay so here's my outside of my jar okay i can move this now all right so now i'm just going to keep inking and we're going to keep assembly and then we'll glue together okay so um maybe we should glue our bunny together right now because he's going to be standing on there so let's do that let's pick out which is his carrot so you'll know because you'll have three of the same size and so you have you have two of each size that go in the jar and then the third one is his and then you can look at these little tops and see they're a little bit different each one's a little bit different okay so this is his so let's assemble the bunny so he could be drying because he's gonna be standing next to that jar. So the jar's gonna the jar's gonna be standing up and Mr. Bunny is gonna be standing or Mrs. Bunny. I didn't do it as a boy or a girl. So I just kind of just did it. So um, you can decide if you want to put a little bow on her on her or a bow tie on him, you can do that. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's add our glue. I just use Allen's tacky glue. It's what works for me. If you have your favorite glue, keep using it. You don't have to change just because I use something different. Okay, and the little nose. And then um, Bunny's gonna be holding the carrot, put his feet on, feet go down there. And then the carrot's in the center. And you really, you really don't need to have um, a bow or anything, you really don't. And then the hands are on both sides. They just kind of go just like that. And then let me just press everything down, get it into place. All right, perfect. Okay, so that way it can be drying. Isn't that so cute? Look at how adorable. Now these would be really cute ornaments to go on an Easter tree, don't you think? Maybe I should offer, <laughs> offer this by itself and then put like little, put holes here and we'll just put jute and hang it, or it can hang like from an ear. Um, I think it'd be cute though, having two holes. So that would be super cute on an Easter tree and then have some of these carrots also. We're gonna have to do that. <laughs> We're gonna do that. Um, white highlight in the eyes. I don't know if I can. Look how tiny those eyes are. The eyes are so tiny. I, th I think, I think, I don't know. Let me try, let me try. <laughs> Sometimes I do, but it's I'm gonna have to use the tiny end. 
and just did I mess it up? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, it looks like he's looking up. Um, I'm kind of feeling like I need to give him eyebrows. I'm, I'm going to give him some eyebrows. There we go. So I just drew in some eyebrows. <laughs> yeah, a garland would be cute too. Yeah, this little guy needs to be on everything. Okay, here we go. Let's ink the rest of this. We have our little tag that says bunny bait. So basically you're moving the piece of wood, okay? You're keeping you're keeping the ink pad right there and just kind of pouncing the pouncing it up and down and you're moving the piece of wood with your fingers. That's the easiest thing for me. Um, if you have a better way of doing it, you can keep doing it that way, but I just find if I just kind of I'm just kind of rotating it with my fingers and it just makes it go so fast. I can I can do a whole tray of these that go like if I'm if I'm multitasking and making a dozen of these I can sit here and just do a whole bunch of these just like this just by rotating the little piece and the it doesn't stand out a lot on the green but you can see that it's there I think in the other room it probably will stand out better boy I have a lot of light now all of a sudden my my um, ring light just got really bright like it went to a different setting by itself I'm like hmm, that's kind of interesting all right and then carefully carefully do the outside of this it can be fragile okay so kind of hold it as you go I haven't broke one but I'm gonna say it could happen so, and you don't have to do the top part. The top part's gonna have fabric on it. But we do need our glue gun plugged in. Let's plug in the glue gun. We're gonna need that because that will help you with the fabric. So, let me plug in the glue gun. All right, line on the floppy ear. Yeah, you could do a line on the floppy ear if you want to. Um, I could, you could do it with, with the highlight, you could highlight it. So let me grab a uh, Q-tip. Q-tips are great for that. So I don't want to do it with the marker. So I'll do, I'll do a little highlight um, with my ink and my Q-tip. So I'll just go like this. How's that? How's that, Miss, Miss Karen Romanko? Just like that. <laughs> okay, let's assemble this puppy, Miss Bonnie. Okay, this does not need to be inked because this is going on here. So this is your frame, goes on the outside. And then we're gonna put, we're gonna put carrots in there one by one. We're gonna build our little stack of carrots. So just get your glue on there. <laughs> Thank you, I love the, I love the little bunny. The little bunny is adorable. Need to make a dozen of them now. No, seriously, I do. I need to have a tree at my craft show that has bunnies and carrots on it and people will buy that. I know they will <laughs> because I have crazy, crazy customers that love stuff like that. They're always looking for something different. If I had a, a full tree of all of that stuff, they would come and they would strip the tree of all of its goodness. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to kind of put these in here, get this get this situated the way that I think it needs to be, and then I'll take them out one by one and ink them. So the reason for doing that is I want I don't want to get glue all over the place. So I want to make sure that I have it uh, figured out where I, what I want to go where. So. And it can be any way you want it. This is not the same as I had it when I first started. So um, it's just a thing of carrots. And then we're gonna have our bunny bait at the top. We'll have fabric on there. Okay, so now we're just gonna start gluing together. <laughs> Let me go in a little bit so you can see the whole thing. There we go. All right, the magic of our little switcher studios, it works. When it works, it works great. <laughs> Um, yes, this is one of my own that I took, I took different ideas and combined. So yes, this is one of my own that, that I was going to wait. <laughs> and then somebody yesterday, yesterday convinced me that, yeah, it's not too early for Easter. It is not too early. We should start now. 
<laughs> so I'll be throwing in, I'll have Easter and spring and Valentine's Day and a couple of, couple of um, St. Patrick's Day things thrown in there. Yep, yuppers. But hey, who doesn't want a jar of carrots? Mr. Bunny certainly does. <laughs> Mr. Bunny would probably take all of those carrots, right? So we've we've done the jars before where we've done the strawberries and we've done, um, what else have we done? We've done hearts and probably jelly beans or Easter eggs. We've But this one with carrots, I'm like, this is new. This is something new. I love this. Love, love, love it. All right. We're almost there. And then what we have to do, we have to put the, we have to put the um, fabric on. So it can be a little bit of a struggle, guys. I'm not, I'm not joking. Um, and, and probably part of the hardest part is doing the, um, the pinking shear around it. Okay, so let me just clean this up. There's a little bit of glue right there. Take your stylus and then take a paper towel, wipe that off. We actually need to speckle. Guys, let's speckle this. That was what we were gonna do. Let's speckle it um, black and white. I think that will just kind of give it even more. And my bunny, I feel like he needs at least something. So does he need a mouth? I feel like he needs like just something, just a little line. There we go. <laughs> I I thought I thought he's missing something, so I just put a little line there for the mouth. Um, I had to stop and say that your combined snow for three days is twenty inches. Oh my goodness! Wow! I bet it's so pretty there. <laughs> I bet it is gorgeous. Um, he was given a metal abstract abstract Christmas tree that you can decorate. Oh, that's awesome! Very cool. Very cool. So, oh, thank you, Laura. Thank you. Yep. I love being able to combine things and just make my own <laughs> so that, oops, I just dropped something. Um, I don't, you know, you're scrolling through Facebook and you're going, oh, that's the same as that person. That's the same as that person. You know, I do do a lot of the popular designs because you guys want them, but I also want to have things that are different. I also want to have my own identity. identity. <laughs> okay, so we're going to speckle with black and white, white and black. Okay, so let me, I'm going to have to get some water for each of those. I don't have a, do I have another? Oh, I do have another palette dish, but, and that, it's dry. So those are all dry. So I have some black, I have some white, and we're going to speckle. We haven't speckled for a while. So some of you might not, you might be new to that. So let me just get, I need to have a paper towel for the paint, and I need one for my fingers, okay? And I need just a little bit more black and the thing that I dropped was my water thing <laughs> so I need to pick that up where is it it's right behind me let me grab that off the floor okay so I have my water bottle which I keep dropping okay so I need a little bit of water for each of these okay so you don't want to contaminate it so what you're going to do is I have my black and my white and then I'm going to put water in two of these these are dry so you're going to take your toothbrush. These are from Dollar Tree. You're going to dip it in the water, dip it on your paper towel, dip it in your paint, dip it on the paper towel, tap, tap, tap. Um, if you need a little more water, tap, 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 tap. Okay. You don't want to have big speckles. Okay. You want to have smaller speckles. So here's what I'm going to do. I, you can test it out right here. Um, to see. Okay, so I'm just going to, I might want a little bit more water. A little bit bigger speckles than that. Okay, there we go. So I am just speckling. It's putting little dots on here. That's what it is. That's what speckling is. And I'm, what I'm doing, I'm pulling my finger backwards on here. So that's just getting little tiny dots on here. And then let's do white also. Okay, so this other one here is for your finger. You're going to wipe that off. It's here. Yes, I know exactly. Being your own boss is amazing, right? <laughs> you love watching. Oh, thank you, Irene. I appreciate that. You are so sweet. Okay, you're going to take your, your toothbrush. You're going to dip it in the water. Put on your paper towel. Dip it in your paint. So we're getting some white um, paper towel back in the water. 
to kind of thin that down. You don't want too small, so you can kind of test that out over here. And then you're going to add some of your white, okay? So, of course, on the white bunny, it's not going to show up, but it's going to show up on here a lot. And then we're going to dry this. And then we can put our fabric on the top. Okay, so now we're done with that. Okay, it's pretty simple. If you are worried about messing something up, you can take a sheet of paper and you can just test your speckles on a sheet of paper. Okay, I usually like to take my paper towel and dab, dab up that water because inevitably I spill it on the way to my sink. <laughs> okay, gonna put that up there with all my stuff to wash. And then we're gonna dry this. I'll just move it over here, we'll dry it, and we'll keep going. We need to put our fabric on the top. This is going to be so cute, guys. I can't wait to see the finished product. It is going to be fun. All right, dry, dry, dry. <laughs> I know, I love being my own boss, even though I do um, bookkeeping for a construction company. I can make my own hours, pretty much. I'm there when they need me, but I can also do work at night. So if I need to enter invoices or do payroll, and I'm gonna be busy the next day, I might stay up till two in the morning, entering, getting everything ready. <laughs> and I can pretty much take off whatever time I need to, just as long as everything gets done. Okay, so those are all ready. I, um, I need to put this part on. This could be the confusing part, okay? So what I'm gonna say is, it's going to fit on top. So the easy way to do is to glue the back part on, to glue right here at the back, okay? And then you're gonna gather all of this. And then we're going to, we're gonna trim it with our, um, you know what, we may just use regular scissors if I can get away with that. We'll see, we'll see. Will these cut, will this cut this? Yes, it will. Okay, perfect. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to put some glue on the back. If, if you are not comfortable with doing this part, you can just tie jute around it, okay? So I'm gonna put my, my glue right there on the back. And then like fold this in half so you know where that's gonna be. It's gonna be about right like that, okay? And then take a squeegee so that you're not sticking your fingers on that and press down, okay? Just in case that goes through, you don't want it to go through onto your fingers. That squeegee will take the heat, okay? And then you're gonna flip it over, okay? So, and these might move around. So when you're all done with this part, you can go back and you can fix all of your little carrots because your carrots might be moving around. Okay, so now we're gonna, now we're gonna gather this. We're gonna take our jute, okay? Jute's gonna go at the back and we're gonna tie a bow. And then we're gonna kind of fuss with this and we'll trim the edges, okay? So put this up like this. If you want to, you can also glue this in the center, but I'm, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna take it and I'm going to put it around. The, see, there, there is this part that goes in. Look at this part right here. See this part right here where it goes in? That's where you're targeting for this piece of jute to be, okay? So, so you're going to kind of gather that like that, okay? Pull it down and bring your piece of jute around, okay? And you're gonna tie it in a bow, and then, then we're gonna fix all the fabric, okay? So don't worry that you're thinking, oh gosh, it doesn't look good. It will, okay? So it will look fine. When we're all done with it, we're gonna trim that fabric, and it's going to look fabulous, okay? So just first thing you're gonna do is, I, I usually will tie a knot, okay? And then I'll tie my bow, because the knot's going to stay, okay? And then, then I'm gonna tie my bow, all right? And then I'm gonna to get to work on that fabric, okay? So there's my little bow. Poor little uh, dog hates the snow. Oh gosh, you shovel, shovel a piece. My mom used to have to do that too. <laughs> used to have to shovel an area for our dog in Idaho. Okay, so there's my little bow, okay? And now I'm gonna take my, I'm gonna take pinking shears and I'm going to just kind of go around the edges okay I'm going to trim it so I'm just trimming the edges if you don't have pinking shears you can use regular scissors for this don't stress okay so 
don't you're gonna you're gonna be trimming some of that off because you want it to kind of look just gathered right there okay so you can kind of move all that around till it looks really cute in the front and you're trimming it down so it's kind of even across okay so just keep going all the way around if you need to stand it up to do part of it you can do that to do that edge or put it on its edge and then here's the back side. The back side doesn't need as much because um, the back side is not going to show. But the back side was not long right there. Okay. So just keep going around. Yes, I'm backwards cutting. <laughs> Maybe you guys should backwards cut too. It might be easier. I'm kidding. I just, I cut backwards. If you're new to my page, I cut backwards because of my kindergarten teacher not wanting to teach um, a... A, person, a, a child not wanting to teach me a child how to cut left-handed okay so there's my little bow okay if you want to if you have ribbon and you want to use ribbon you absolutely can but see how easy that was you can use regular scissors the pinking shears just make it look super duper cute but you can you you can use regular scissors on that if you want to okay so we have all of our carrots and if you if you need to move anything around now's the time to do that Okay, we have our bunny bait. And what I'm gonna do, guys, I'm going to just thread this through. There's a little thing of jute. I'm gonna fold it in half, pinch that end. Okay, so pinch the end so it will go through that hole. And then when you get it through the hole, open that up and grab the little tails just like that. And then we're gonna glue this right on here. We're just gonna glue it. And you're just you're just going to trim those tails down. You you know what you could tie it on if you want to, but I actually really like to glue it in place. Those tails are just going to be free, so they're just going to, they're just going to be like this, just like that. Okay. Now you're just going to glue. Take that. Throw that away. You're going to glue this on there. So I'm actually going to use um, I'm going to use my hot glue right there to glue that in place. I'll put a little tiny touch of regular glue to help it stay. So I'll put a little bit of regular glue and then I'm gonna put hot glue, okay? And then we're gonna glue our bunny on here and then this is gonna be done. Isn't this so fun? I just love this. Okay, so this is where this is going to be here and I'm gonna glue this down because we are going to put a little bit of glue right in there all along the way for this to be just like this, just like that, okay? So that tag is just gonna be right there, just like that, just like it's kind of hanging from that, okay? So, so see how that is? It's just right there, okay? And then Bunny is gonna be right over on this side. All right, so Bunny's gonna be right there. You're gonna use regular glue and hot glue. Okay, so all along this whole line right here, we're gonna put some of that. And the reason for this is so that that will stay forever. And you know what, I'm gonna put hot glue on here because that's gonna overlap hot glue there and hot glue right there. And then that's gonna hold our Bunny right away. I'm gonna kind of tuck that just like that, okay. And then you want to do this. You want to stand it up right away and make sure that that bunny is not too high or too low. You want it to be even with your jar it's so that so the bottom of it is even with the table um, so it doesn't wobble back and forth. Or if you had it too long, then it would tip backwards. And there we go, we are done. And this part here, this can kind of go over his ear or if you want to trim it down. So let me just go in closer. Look at how cute that is. Isn't it adorable? Now I kind of feel like this could be could be um, a little bit shorter, but I kind of like the idea that his ear is just right there. What do you guys think? <laughs> I think I'm going to leave it. I love it. Okay, so I have these kits available. It's going to come with everything. It's going to come with your fabric, your jute, your jar. Um, all you're going to have to do is supply your paint and your glue. Okay, so um, and like I said, if you don't have pinking shears, um, pinking shears are the things that cut the little zigzags. Um, you can borrow some from your neighbor, um, borrow your mama's, or just use regular scissors and just make it round. It will look just as cute. All right, we're done. We're done, guys. I love this one so much. He's so cute.
All right, let me put you up to myself. Oh, <laughs> and I just tipped him over. I knew I was going to do that. <laughs> I pushed it too hard. <laughs> there we go. And I'm, I got, I got itchy nose today. I, it's allergies. Oh my goodness. Sorry. <laughs> that looks really weird. <laughs> There we go, guys. He is so fun. Thanks for being here. And it didn't even take that long. So about an hour. Usually, usually um, my tutorials take about an hour because I'm talking so much. Um, I just think he's super cute. Like I said, if you want to trim the fabric down, you absolutely can. I am going to go ahead. Don't forget to unplug blue. Thank you. I'm doing that right now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I will post the carrots by themselves. What I'll do with the carrots, um, the carrots and the bunnies. I'll do those as like ornaments so in a set. So I'll do I'll do a bunny and a carrot. Um, or maybe I'll do two bunnies and two carrots. What I'll do on the carrots, guys, is... I'll make them larger and I'll do a backer because see how, see how this piece comes out. Um, it will have to have a backer to glue that onto it, but yeah, I think it's super cute. We're ready for Easter. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you for being here. This was fun. I got to clean up all my brushes and get my day started. Um, tomorrow's Saturday. Our sale is tomorrow. I've got a lot to do between now and then. I have to take um, all the pictures for the size B. I have a lot of pictures to take. Um, I already got all the size A pictures done, but I got to do all the size B. Yay. <laughs> and I and then get it all entered into the computer and ready for the sale tomorrow, one o'clock in the VIP group. Sale on size A and B transfers. Yay. All right. Um, let me know if you have questions. I'll take a picture. <laughs> Thank you, Kat. I love you guys. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you tomorrow. Um, I'll come on after the sale. So um, on Saturdays, I'm on like 4 o'clock p.m. Pacific time. All right. Love you guys.